Good afternoon, and I'd like to welcome everybody back to another RAI Caregiver Moment. Um, this is the Big Hearted Caregiver Series where we showcase big hearted caregivers, and uh, we really doing this thing to help others see why being a caregiver is so important. We're with a, a special young lady friend of mine. She's doing big things, super big things in the caregiver industry. Uh, I actually disrespected her almost the other day because <laughs> I called her a, a, a nurse. I said, Nurse Shamika, I uh, need your help. And she said, hold on, man. I'm nurse practitioner, Nurse Shamika. So with that being said, I would like to welcome you to the show today and welcome everybody. I'll let her tell you her story because it's, it's, it's fabulous and amazing and it, and it stretches back uh, a couple decades. So, you know, with that being said, how you doing today? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Tell the people who you are. Just just a little tiny bit of snippet about yourself and then we'll we'll go into it. My name is Shamika Brown. I am now a nurse practitioner. Um, started off as a, a health tech, a home health aide. Um, right out of high school, um, I decided to go back to school. Um, initially, I was going to go to school for nursing. Um, but unfortunately, I let an academic advisor talk me out of it. Oh, so wow. I did. Out of your true passion. Out of my true passion. True passion. Um, wow. But you know, being the, the first person in my family to um, go to college, I really didn't have a lot of insight from, you know, people in my family. So I, I listened to the academic advisor, and um, I went to school to become a physical therapist assistant which was a, a beautiful profession as okay. well, very re rewarding. But being a nurse was just something that was always in me since I was a child. So after working as a physical therapist assistant for about four or five years, I decided to go back to school for my first passion, okay. which was to become a, a registered nurse. Um, and since I already had like all of my credits and prerequisites, um, I went straight um, to the the RNBSN program. Okay, was it any uh, external struggles that you had to uh, deal with? Um, you know, going to that nursing class. Yes, I was a single mother. Um, actually, I got pregnant um, in my twelfth grade year of high school. Okay. So, you know, raising a child. Um, he was already a caregiver. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And right. also, you know, during that time, you know, I lost my father to wow. lung cancer. So. Wow. You know, um, it, I had a lot of struggles, um, mm. and I always had to work a full-time job while I was in school as well. So mm -hmm. there were a lot of struggles. Were there any? Um, I know nurses tell me all the time about the things that they had to go through on the inside. Was it any internal struggles? I mean, I, I know you you had to deal with your father and in, in the early pregnancy and taking care of your child. Was there anything else going on on the inside that um yeah that you were um, struggling with? Yes, um, just, you know, not believing in myself. Um, that was like one of those big struggles because, you know, coming from a family where, you know, um, I was the first one in college. So yeah. I really wanted this because I wanted to make a difference in my family. Um, and, you know, just fear of not, you know, finishing a program. Fear will hold you back. Yes. Fear um, will hold you back. What was the uh, what was the wall that you hit when you faced uh, these problems that you said, "Look, I'm 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 done. I'm going to make this thing happen for me, and I want to be an RN, and that's what it is." Well, um, I think that my mom was just so excited, you know. She got you through. She was so excited, and she was, you know, always there for me, and you know, to to be her first child, you know, to graduate from college. I I think that that that's one of the things that really kept me going and then also knowing that you know I was raising a son on my own um I had to do it for him too mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's cool that's cool that gave you a lot of drive I'm sure yes <laughs> what did you hit to say this is it um I think that just being a student in the clinicals, like the effect that I had on like some of my my patients, like when I was a student, how they always, you know, gave good feedback to my instructors, like you know, and they always say, you know, you're going to be a good nurse someday, and that's when I knew that you know I made the right decision. Mm. 
So, so, so knowing that, listen, this is my path, this is my right decision, this is where I really need to be, what was your plan at that point? So my plan at that point, it, it's so funny because I kind of, I really over exceeded where I felt that I would be in life. Um, I never forget um, during nursing school, they made us write out like a five year career development plan. Wow. And my my goal was to, to go back to get a master's degree, but I never knew that I was going to take, you know, this this journey this into journey, becoming right. a, a nurse practitioner. Mm -hmm. Was it any conflicts that you faced uh, in your journey to become a nurse practitioner? Yes, there were a lot of conflicts. Um, when you are training to become a nurse practitioner, um, you have to be very proactive because um, a lot of schools do not put you in a placement or a clinical setting. So you have to like really go out there and put yourself out there and find your own clinical instructor, clinical um, instructor. So mm -hmm. the biggest challenge was um, learning how to be resilient. And, you know, when I had um, um, certain places where I went to try to uh, find someone to precept me as a nurse practitioner student um, just it, it was like so many times where you know I would just sit in my car and cry and just be so discouraged right. because it was so hard to find somebody to precept me um, but it taught me how to be you know resilient best and bounce back and you know be more assertive and you know and not give up we all know that you're a nurse practitioner now, but yes. what are some of the other great achievements that you've achieved? Because it's being a, an inspiration to other people. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many people that, not only like my family members, but close friends of mine. It's like so many people that are just so inspired by my story. Like I, you know, success to me is not about how much money you make or, you know. Not as a caregiver. No, it's about... <coughs> It's about transforming lives and, you know, it's about transforming lives and, you know, showing other people, like, how to get there. So, um, you know, I, my biggest accomplishment is being a mentor for other people and seeing other people follow in my footsteps. And succeed. Yes. That's good. That's good. That's good. You're giving back uh, every way around. That's good. During this time... Cause you're on your way to your doctorate, right? <laughs> Am I saying yes. that right? <laughs> yes. This is just so major, like wow. Yes. It's getting you the strength to be where you at right now. My strength, first of all, my health and strength comes from God. Um, I don't take credit for anything, you know, in my life. Um, a lot of my dreams are like God-given dreams and like the places that I want to be in life and you know, my future goals is is all you know, a guy giving dream. So I don't take credit for anything. Um, it's just, you know, my future right now, I'm so excited about it because there are so many things that, you know, I want to do, you know. And well, if, if anybody's future <laughs> was so bright, they got to wear shades. It's definitely you. <laughs> I know that for a fact. <laughs> Nursing is 24 seven. So, you know, and that's that's a, you know the the beauty of being a nurse a, a nurse is you know being selfless and you know being compassionate i only got one more question for you sure what makes uh southwest philly young lady want to grow up and be a big hearted caregiver and take care of people because period. i did not want to be a statistic Wow. Okay. And, you know, a lot of people coming from where I came from and, you know, some of the things that, you know, I experienced, you know, in my life, um, I did not want to become a statistic and I, you know, always wanted to be a leader and not a follower. So, you know, I just want to inspire other, you know, young people um, to show them, you know, you can have it all. And you don't have to do, you know, you don't have to do anything um, immoral or, you know, you don't have to be a statistic. There's a better way. There's a better way. And yes. It's people. And just personally, I, I believe the more people that I can help, 
Yeah, I'm gonna be helped. Like God gonna help me. Exactly, and you know, it's it's all about paying it forward. You That's know? right. I had a forward. lot of I had a lot of people that really you know encouraged me. They mentored me. Um, they believed in me. So I just want to you know be that person to do that for other people. Beautiful, beautiful. I can't ask for no more from you than that. <laughs> 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 well, here we go. Nurse practitioner, soon to be a doctor, Miss Jamika from Southwest Philly, y'all. <laughs> so, you got any questions? You want to be on the next Caregiver Summit? 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Call me right now. Uh, if you're in Southwest Philly and you know Miss Jamika, listen, smash the wow face and let her know, like, you're doing an excellent job out here with the people. I mean, this, uh, you know, I don't think it's nothing else the world can ask for you, you know? And uh, we salute you. Thank you. We salute you as a caregiver. And we want to give you the Big Hearted Caregiver Award. Unfortunately, it's not ready right now. But <laughs> <laughs> I will be presenting that to you at a later date. And listen, we appreciate your time and your service. No and problem. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm Mr. Bye. KC, a Big Hearted Caregiver, along with the real Big Hearted Caregiver. They they really the ones. They come out to your house. And they, and they you know, from the top to the bottom, this lady been doing this way longer than me. And um, she gives back. And uh, we like to give back too. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Smash the wow face if you feel like taking care of people's a good thing. And let me know if you want to come on the show. 302 689 3240. I'm Mr. Casey, and I'm out. Thank you. <laughs>